أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this session we are going to focus on assessing discriminant validity using IBM SPSS AMOS series 9. So what is discriminant validity? Now once you have assessed the composite reliability and convergent validity as we have done in the last session, the next step is assessing discriminant validity. Now discriminant validity or divergent validity actually refers to the degree to which the measures that should not be highly correlated with each other are actually distinct or not very highly correlated with each other. Discriminant validity indicates the extent to which a given construct differs from other constructs in this study. Since there are multiple measures in a research study that is multiple constructs, the constructs shall have their own distinct identity and there shall be no overlapping. In order to statistically ascertain the individuality of the constructs, discriminant validity is addressed or established. So heterotrade monotrade ratio. While Farnell and Locker recommendation of examining shared variances to assess discriminant validity has been extremely popular in the past, recent research has started to question how sensitive this test is in capturing discriminant validity issues between construct. Hensler and others 2015 paper is a go-to to understand the issues with Farnell and Locker criteria. Now subsequently, the heterotrade monotrade ratio of correlation technique was offered as a better approach to determine discriminant validity between constructs. The HTMT method examines the ratio between trait correlations and within trait correlation of the two constructs. Put another way, it examines the correlation of indicators across the constructs to the correlation of indicators within the construct. So within the construct is your monotrade, across the construct is your heterotrade. So a modern approach to the assessment of discriminant validity is your heterotrade monotrade ratio. Hensler and others, they proposed this approach based on multi-trade, multi-method metrics. Now, if HTMT value is less than 0 0.90, your discriminant validity is established. Now, how do you calculate it? So I've got a little calculator here. Now, these yellow lines or yellow cells here all of them you see these are the correlation of a single construct or items within a single construct so these are monotrade correlations look at these green ones now these are the correlation of one construct or items in one construct with items in other construct so these are heterotrade so what are your monotrade correlations and what are your heterotrade correlations so how do you calculate the heterotrade monotrade ratio? Where do I get this? If I go to AMOS, estimates, matrices, implied correlation. So here is my implied correlations or the correlation of each of the indicators within the construct and with other indicators in the other constructs. So I just click here, right click, copy and I put it here. Now in this case, how do I calculate monotrade correlation? What you just simply need to do is just write the indicator or rather the latent variable name here. Click the other cell, press is equal to, take the average here, select these values here. So these are the values or monotrade values for, so because we are calculating the average of monotrade correlation. So items within a single constructs are selected. Just press and now this is the monotrade correlation. Now remember when you are copying this, remove the ones, remove the ones on the diagonal. Similarly, we can do it for BE. Similarly, we are going to do it for AT. Now that this is done, we've got the averages. Let's do heterotrade correlation. So this is the same thing. This is the correlation of LS or all the indicators in LS with the indicators in BE. So where are the correlation, LS and BE? These are the correlations for LS and BE. So how do I do this? Is equal to average. 
ls and be so here it is here is your life satisfaction indicators for life satisfaction here are the indicators for ethical behavior of the leadership press enter similarly do it for ls and at average ls and at so here is your ls and at and similarly do it for be and at be is be is ethical behavior of the leadership and authentic behavior of the leadership so be and at is here now this is done enter now look at this htmt ratio between ls and be is 0 0.60 so now how do we calculate this htmt ratio now before we calculate this htmt ratio we need to be sure that how many ratios are to be calculated so we have to make sure that all combinations are listed so this is ls and be we can have ls and at plus be and at so all heterotrade correlation combinations here one two three all of them are here now so we are just going to calculate it how do we calculate it so what you need to do is you need to have your r7 which is your heterotrade correlation which is divided by the square root of the multiplied effect or multiply the two monotrade correlations that is ls and be because we are calculating the ratio between ls and be so what you need to do is multiply the monotrade correlation of ls by be and then take its square root and the next step is divide your heterotrade correlation for ls and be by that particular square root of the multiplication of the monotrade correlations let's do another one so we press is equal to in this case the heterotrade correlation between ls and at or the indicators of ls with at the average of the correlation was this r8 divided by square root and then we multiply the monotrade correlation for ls so what's the monotrade correlation for ls this multiplied by at this we close the bracket enter let's do the last one is equal to be and at so what's the heterotrade correlation be and at this one here divided by square root and then multiply the monotrade correlation of be and at so be multiply by at now this is your htmt ratios or these are your htmt ratios for these possible combinations now how do you present it now look at this all of them less than 0.85 now this shows that there are no issues of discriminant validity but in Farner and Lager criterion we were having certain issues now since this is a modern method so you can skip the presentation of Farner and Lager criterion and rather present the HTMT ratio so how do you write it let's write it ls be at ls be at so what all what was okay let's uh, change it a bit control x put it on top so what was ls and be ls and be 0 0.60 now what was ls and at ls and at 0 0.51 now what was be and be obviously there was no or none so be and at be and at 0 0.83 0 0.83 and at and at obviously none so look at this these values are less than the recommended value of 0 0.90 this means there are no discriminant validity issues in your data in the next lecture on the next two lectures i'm going to focus on how to report the measurement model followed by how to report composite reliability and construct validity thank you very much